I feel very comfortable in having any critic um, place Panagian where they will. I have compared Panagian to some of the great hermit artists of the world. He was at the cutting edge of what was happening in the art scene at the, mo at the moment, at that time. You know, his story will become an example of, of what one can do uh, singularly away from the mainstream as an artist. You'll see that kind of appreciation and recognition of his work just expand over the next 20 years. It's in the works themselves. And these works are very strong and rest very comfortably on their own hanging on museum walls. The reason why we're so excited and so passionate about the Panasian collection and Arthur Panasian is the fact that he's a completely, totally, utterly unknown artist and it is a discovery, not a rediscovery. Some, I should say, many works did have to be thrown out only because they had been stored in the garage for so long under conditions of dampness, humidity, that the paint had all but flaked off the canvas completely. But before he died, his sister told me that, that he said to her, just throw it all in the garbage. When I came there, I remember I, I, I would squabble with it because I was really, you know, I was overwhelmed and she would say, just leave it, she said, just, that's what he said, just to let, let, let it go in the garbage. And I kept saying, how could you say that? I went out to um, Bellport and visited to see this collection and uh, I was not disappointed. I was, I was amazed, a little bit overwhelmed by the sheer quantity and ultimately discovered enough works that are of such high quality works that were as good or better than his more famous abstract peers. Bill's reactions to the works of art, at first being, well, I don't know. You know, it's, it's nice, it's good, but it's not gonna change the canon of art history. That was his first reaction to the 20 or so paintings that we looked at. <clears throat> when he began to get into it, for me, there was tremendous excitement in watching Bill get excited. There's a variety of things that stood out to me as, as a curator and also as an artist myself. Um, of course, I'm very drawn to the, the color in many of the works, the, um, the strong sense of design, um, the graphic nature, uh, the angles and dyna dynamic compositions. What's exciting about Panagian's work and sets it aside is uh, uh, the kind of singularity of his pursuit of, of, of a personal vision which comes into, particularly comes into view when he's going back to the same scenes over and over again, painting Overlook Mountain or a particular view or a still life repeatedly finding new things in it each time. His art was uh, very private to him, and it was uh, a diary of his life that was personal, that uh, he really didn't want to share with the world. The act of making the art was the most important thing. Not the finished product, not the sale, not being in a museum show, not having a gallery. But the uh, process of making an artwork was, was, was important to him. And I think that that's um, an important aspect of art that we now perhaps too much neglect. His art was purely, in a way, a selfish act. And that he was really doing this to improve himself as a person and have these visible expressions of the final attainment of this ultimate vision and skill that he had. 
And uh, thank God it was saved.